Hey everyone, my name is Vixen, and this is sort of an announcement. Um, it's not even a vlog necessarily, it's totally different. So I don't feel like I was doing what I wanted to do with YouTube. Ugh. It's a little too high. So I was a little over concerned with my YouTube identity, I guess you could say. I was worried about like my name and my schedule, my uploading schedule, daily submissions, and I was worried about game variety, that sort of stuff, and I wasn't really focusing on why I was doing YouTube in the first place. And I was doing it, am doing it, rather, not was, because this is still the case, because it's fun! I really like it. I would love it if I could reach a point where I could do it for a living. And that, that was my entire goal with YouTube. And I sort of lost sight of that. It took a, a few pretty uncomfortable conversations and some pretty intense introspection for me to realize that I wasn't... I was too focused on making it a job and not focused enough on why I was doing it, which was because it was fun. And I know that doesn't even make sense. Oh, the sun came out. Hmm. Like, why would I even bother trying to make it a job when I don't have the subscribers, I don't have the quality of content yet to even worry about that? But I was. I was getting caught up in that for, like, no reason. And so I was sort of lo losing sight on why I started YouTube in the first place, what my goals were, and I just got caught up a lot in the, the daily submissions, you know? There's a lot of pressure when you're working and you're trying to be a student and you're trying to keep up with a daily submission uh, on YouTube because it's it's a ton of work. I mean, I didn't really have very much downtime. If I wasn't recording, I was editing, and if I wasn't editing, I was doing homework, and if I wasn't doing homework, it was because I was at work. I, I felt like I sort of neglected a lot of other things in wanting to pursue all of these different things all at the same time. So this video is not that I'm leaving YouTube because I'm not leaving YouTube. I'm not stopping. However, there will be some changes, I think, that you can expect to see from me in the future. So, first off, and I would like your guys' opinion on this, I don't love my name. So, the reason that I chose Pixel Vixen was because I initially started my YouTube channel on my main YouTube profile, which is, uh, my gosh, I've had that YouTube account for... Oh, let me look. So, the first upload was March 22nd, 2006. So, it's 10 years old, that account. is It's old. <laughs> and uh, I, so I started there, but I did, did a ton of research on, like, what professionals who have made it in YouTube and in streaming have suggested. And they all suggested picking a totally new internet presence because if you try to use your old stuff typically it might garner some unwanted attention of like people digging up things that you used on your old account and so you want it to be totally different and I am basically the worst at trying to pick names I am horrible at it and anyone who knows me will, will verify that, that I am terrible at it. And so I literally wrecked my brain for like two weeks trying to come up with anything. And my husband really liked Vixen, v Vixen something, any, anything. Literally the way that I chose Pixel Vixen was I went to a search engine that would bring up rhymes and I typed in Vixen, and Pixel came up as a partial rhyme. So I was like, hey, there we go, that'll work. I, I didn't love it, I just thought, hey, it's fine. So that's how I ended up with Pixel Vixen, and I thought that it would grow on me, but it really hasn't. And I am not super loving the quality of the content that I am publishing. I don't, I, I like being on a schedule. I like being able to provide for every one of you a video every day, but... I don't like the quality of the videos. I don't think that they're my best work. I feel like there's still a lot that I have to learn about this, and especially a lot that I just need to 
be more comfortable with? Like, do you guys know how difficult it is to talk and play a game at the same time? <laughs> like, I said it in my Alan Wake video just recently that I have a tendency to worry too much about what I'm going to say that I just run right past stuff constantly. Like, I'm not paying attention to the game anymore. I'm paying attention to my mouth and the words that are coming out of it. So I feel like I need to really improve on that and I need to do better with that and just like, you know, being in the moment playing the game, enjoying it, having legitimate commentary instead of just, you know, saying words that come out of my mouth. <laughs> uh, oh, God. And and I, I feel like I am trying a little too hard. You know, I, I will really try to keep talking instead of just enjoying the silence sometimes because sometimes you don't have to say anything. Sometimes you can just let the game speak for itself. And I feel like I am not doing enough of that. I know it seem, it's stupid, really. Like, it's dumb. I, I barely have 50 subscribers. And I love all of you guys for subscribing to me. You guys are all great. But I, I do feel like the, these are issues that I need to address. And that b until I address them, my channel's not going to be what I want it to be. Because if I want this to be my job, I need to treat it like it's my job. And I need to treat it with that level of professionalism and that level of respect. I need to respect the work that I'm doing. I need to really focus on the work that I'm doing. And I need to focus on mastering that craft instead of focusing so much on the schedule and having game variety and having a persona that people will take to because there's no reason to worry about those things until I have the quality content that would garner viewership in the first place. So this video is mostly just me giving you guys a heads up that my submissions are going to be cut dramatically. I will not be submitting every day. I will try to take my time with every video. I will try to baby it and love it. And if it's not what I want, I won't upload it. And I will continue doing that until I reach the quality of content that I think you guys deserve. I may also undergo a name change. If I do decide to do that, you guys will be the first to know. I'll make a video about it. I will link to the new channel if I do end up changing. I may, I may not, and I am open to suggestions on that. Like, I'm really not loving Pixel Vixen, but I also am not 100% sure what would suit me better. Like I said, I don't want to use my old screen name, which I won't tell you what it is, huh? But I don't want to use my old handle, and I want to keep things separate, you know, professional and personal. So I just need to find something that, that I am confident using and something that... I wouldn't mind saying constantly because you know, I have to say it in the beginning of every video. <laughs> if I do end up doing that, like I said, I will absolutely post a video for you guys. You, you guys will have direct access to the next channel, which I would love to see you guys there. Um, if I don't end up doing a name change, then don't even worry about it. Like, there will still be content here instead. So don't even concern yourself with it. So I, I wanted to set a goal of having a video upload once a week. However, I don't know that I will be able to meet that goal, especially if I'm trying to raise my quality standards. So there is a tentative once a week video, and I will try to submit this once a week video on Saturdays. We'll see, but I will try. I do still have some Minecraft Mondays footage that I filmed with my siblings, so that will probably go up on Monday just because I, I still have footage, so I may as well use it. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. I really want to focus on making sure that every single video is one that I can be proud of, because if I'm proud of it, then I know you guys are getting a really quality product, and I know that you guys aren't wasting your time trying to watch my videos. I know that they will be fun and worthwhile. And until I reach that point, I don't want to be bombarding the internet with my videos, you know. I, I realize that practice makes perfect, so I'm going to keep recording and I'm going to keep trying to, you know, make quality content. 
but until a video is really up to my standards, I probably won't upload it. I will still keep uh, involved in the community. You, you guys can check me out on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Facebook. I'm more active on Facebook than anywhere else just because that's where my family is, so I tend to check it more. <laughs> I'm actually really terrible about social media. I'm terrible at social media, and I'm terrible at taking pictures, and so like Instagram and Twitter are both kind of like, they are there in case I need them, but I'm really bad at using them. <laughs> but like I said, I have a full plate. I work like 25 hours a week, 25 or 30 hours a week. I have a pretty insane commute, and so that takes up a lot of my day. I am a full-time student, which is super fun, so there's a lot there, you know, homework, trying to keep good grades, trying to keep in good standing, and also YouTube on top of that, and I have a house to keep because my husband is also working and also going to school, and so there's just like, there's a lot to do, and it's hard for me to keep up on it. And that's also partially why I'm deciding to slow down on YouTube because it's, it's wearing me out. I feel like if I wasn't in school, this would be a lot easier because I wouldn't be so focused on school. And luckily, it's it's a community college. Like it's this isn't this isn't some big fancy schmancy university. You know, I'm not going to Harvard or anything like that. It's just community college, and so I probably only have two semesters left. So once that is done. I will be able to really ramp up my YouTube production, but until then, I really need to keep my priorities in perspective and focus on those while also prioritizing quality content for you guys and even for myself, so I'm proud of the content that I'm delivering to you. So yeah, that's that's the gist of this video. It's, it's that I'm, I will be slowing down, there will be less content, but it will be way better possible name change, so I may change the alias and move to a different channel. If I do, you guys will be the first to know. And if you want to keep up with what I'm doing, please feel free to add me to social media and I will keep you in the loop as this process progresses. You guys will be the first to know because I love you all and you've been really supportive, especially the people who comment. You guys really brighten my day every time I get a comment. It's just like, oh, someone cared. It makes my heart sing. <laughs> I'm going to stop rambling on this video now. I just wanted to let you guys know that because you deserve to know what's going on and why the last couple of days haven't seen uploads. So that's what's going on and look forward to more content and look forward to hearing from me and hearing up updates from me so you guys know what's going on. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and we will see when my next upload will be. I will aim to have a submission done for Saturday. So thank you so much. You guys are so patient and I love you so much. I'm so humbled to have you guys as my subscribers and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye!